Hi everybody! Today we're going to do a quick lesson on how to write a really good sentence. It's always better to know what you're going to write about, so when we give a sentence test, we'll normally give you a small picture to look at, and that's what you need to write about. Now, some kids just want to say a very basic sentence. I see a man. I see a dog. I see a girl. And that's a sentence that's still okay, but we really don't want to talk about what you see. We just want to talk about what is actually in the picture. So let's look at the first picture. If I look close up, it looks like a man and it looks like a police officer. So I need to write a sentence about the man. Now when we're little babies, little kids, we say very simple sentences like man big or uh, man runs. Um, but as we get older, we start adding more details to our sentences so we have longer sentences. Now that we're in first grade, we want to write some sentences with four or five, maybe even six or seven words. The way to do that is to add details to our sentence. So we need to talk about the man and we need to talk about what he's doing. That's the subject and the action of the sentence. Who and what they're doing. So it looks like this man, uh, a police officer, is standing. Maybe he's talking to someone, his hand is up, maybe he's giving directions. So before I even start writing, I want to try to get a good idea of what I want to say. I could say the man is looking at the road. So I could try to write that down. The man is looking at the road. I could say that. Or I could say the man is talking to children or the man talks to children. Uh, the police officer talks to children. The police officer talks to the happy children. There I've talked about what kind of man he is, what he's doing, and added a detail about happy children. Now, when we start writing, we need to make sure we use a capital letter, try to spell the words as best as we can, put spaces in between our words, and end with punctuation. Usually it's going to be a period, but it also could be an exclamation point, or if you ask a question, you'll need to use a question mark. So I'm going to think back to what I said, the police officer talks to the happy children. So I'm going to start all the way on the left using the lines given to write the. Now, <clears throat> if you don't know how to spell police, you're going to do your best to spell it, to sound it out and spell it the best way you can. There's the word police. Officer. It's a pretty hard word. Luckily, I know how to spell it. Now, since there's only one police officer, I'm going to add an S to the verb. The police officer talks to. Now, I ran out of room. Should I just be down and put a period? No. I'm going to come back to the left and write it underneath to fit it all in. I'm not going to write down the side. I'm not going to write the words backwards. When you get done at the end of the line, you go back over here. The police officer talks to the happy children. Now I know you don't see any happy children in the picture, but I added a detail because it was hard for me to know exactly what he was doing. So the police officer talks to the happy children. I have a capital letter, I have a period, and I've put word spaces in between my words. When I got to the end of the line, I didn't write down the end of the side of the paper, I didn't write going backwards, I came and jumped back to the left and fit the uh, rest of the sentence underneath, and it makes sense. Now let's move on to this one. It's hard for me to tell if that's a boy or a girl, so it's my choice. And I even want to go a step farther and give the child a name. So I'm going to say this is a boy named Dan, and it looks like Dan is petting a dog. And I might say the dog's name is Spot. Maybe it looks like he has a spot on his ear. 
So I can say something about boy pets. That's like a, a little baby sentence when a child is first learning to talk. So I'm gonna add in those words. Uh, instead of boy, I would say the boy pets the dog. That's a pretty good sentence. But now I wanna add it, add some details. So I'm gonna, instead of saying the boy, I'm gonna give him a name. Dan pets spot the dog. That tells us what the dog's name is. I might even say where, where he's petting the dog. Maybe he's petting the dog at the park. Dan is petting Spot at the park. There we go, that's a pretty good sentence. So once again, I have to remember to start all the way on the left and put spaces in between my words. So here's his name, Dan Pets. Spot. Now, Spot is the dog's name, so it has to have a capital. A lot of times, first graders forget that uh, na all names have to have a capital letter, even if they're in the middle of the sentence. Dan pets Spot at the park. Period. Here I have a capital letter. I have word spaces. I have a period. And I know Spot is the name of the dog, so I gave him a capital letter as well. And finally, I have a picture at the bottom. It looks like mom and a girl, and it looks like they're cooking. I have a feeling maybe they're cooking dinner. So I'm going to call this person mom. I'm gonna call this girl Jan. I'm not gonna to get too fancy. I'm gonna think of a name I know how to spell. And I knew how to spell Dan, so I know how to spell Jan. Mom and Jan cook dinner. Where do you think they'll cook the dinner? I could always say a location like I did up here at the park. Where do you think they cook dinner? Mom and Jan cook dinner in the kitchen. Very good. So I'm gonna start with mom. Mom is her name, so I'm gonna put a capital M. Mom, finger space, and now Jan is her name, just like Spot. I'm gonna give a capital letter. Mom and Jan, cook. Now I only need to write cook instead of cooks because I have two people. Up here, it was one police officer, so I added an S. Mom and Jan, cook dinner. And I ran out of room, so I'm not gonna write down the side. I'm not gonna write my words backwards. I'm gonna jump back to the left. Mom and Jan cook dinner in the... Now I'm gonna add a word to describe the kitchen. If they've been cooking all day, the kitchen might be hot. So I'm gonna add the word hot. It's just adding one more word to show I can add details. Mom and Jan cook dinner in the hot kitchen. And then I'm gonna put a period. So I have a capital letter and I have a period. I have word spaces in between my words, and I have all other names capital. Now you can add more details to your sentence, you could add less detail, but as long as you have a capital and a period and the sentence makes sense, you'll do a great job. Good luck.